Welcome to the Social University Podcast. We are so glad you're joining us today because we want to help business owners, entrepreneurs, and people just like you who want to build their business online. Listen, if we can do it, you can do it. So let's go. Good morning. I'm Karen Tiradas with Social U. It is that time of the week. Every Wednesday, we go live at 10 a.m. Central to talk to you about social media tips, tricks, and trends. We stream on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, this month, we've been talking about, um, what are we talking about? Uh, let's see. Last week, we talked about where to find inspiration when you're out of ideas. Really good list of locations where you can find killer content. We've also talked about how to stand out in a saturated market and then how to basically um, check in and see how you're doing so far this year. So today, we are going to discuss how do, how do you know when it's time for a rebrand? Well, there's a few indicators. So we're going to jump into that in just a second. We will post the schedule for July. We'll be up by Friday. But just in case, in case you guys weren't aware, we do shut down the office four weeks a year. And next week is one of them. Our office will be closed to observe the fourth and to give our team some downtime because man, oh man, they have totally earned it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So today, how to tell if it's time for a rebrand. First and foremost, your name, if it no longer reflects your vision, it's time to take a look at it. I don't know who is old enough to remember this, but Google once upon a time used to be called Backrub. Don't know why. <laughs> Love that they changed that because they realized something was happening and they needed to embrace the change. So if you're um, if, if you own a coffee shop and you're going to start serving lunch, you can't just call yourself coffee uh, breakfast location. You have to indicate that you are changing and it, then it is time to update your brand. Okay, number two, your brand is out of date. That happens. There are certain words that change and the meaning of them changes. I was tagged in a post yesterday because there's a bunch of people named Karen who are mad because Karen has been now associated, it has a terribly negative connotation. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I, I, maybe it's because I know that my name is spelled differently, but I, I don't care. I know who I am. I'm not offended. I don't care who calls, who would care. It, that, that doesn't matter to me. But if the name of your company is Karen, I would 100% look to change it because that has a negative connotation these days. Different words take on different meanings at different times. So if it's out of date, it is time to rebrand. Number three, your brand is confusing or not specific enough to your target audience. And I deal with a lot of business owners and nobody wants to be told their baby's ugly. So you have to take an objective look at your company name and seriously ask yourself if it's confusing. You can't call yourself um, an I need an example. You can't call yourself, let's say, uh, patent management because nobody knows what that means. It's too vague. It's not specific enough to the target. Now, patent financial management, that makes total sense. Patent workout management changes the meaning. You have to get specific. You can't just call yourself Smith Development. It makes no sense. People don't understand what you're developing. So get specific to your target. And if you're not, it's time for a rebrand. Uh, number four, when you're targeting a new audience, businesses evolve. I know mine has evolved. We've been in business. This is our 15th year. Our anniversary coming up in September marks 15 years. This is, um, it happens. If you've been in business long enough, you evolve and you target new people. There's a new audience that kind of reflects back on your brand, not being specific enough to your audience. But if you're targeting a new group of people, it might be time for a rebrand. Number five. If you're embarrassed to hand out your card or to send people to your website, it is time to rebrand. I had that issue a few years ago. I was horrified to send people to my website. It was just awful. I love my website now. I love our web guy now, our um, our web development master. He's amazing. Wasn't always that way. If you don't like it, it's time to get in there and redo and we, I've changed um, for you guys who have known me for the 15 years. My business started out in a t totally different direction. And when I started serving different audiences and my audience changed, I had to change my name, all of my branding, my website. I had to have a complete redo. So it, it does happen, especially if you've been in business for a little while. Uh, number six, 
if you're too similar to your competition, there are so many brands that are so close in branding. It's it's amazing to me, especially if you're a new company. There are, uh, and for those of you who don't know, we're based out of Birmingham, Alabama. There is a trucking company that has an M for their logo. Well, so does everybody else. It looks exactly like a ton of other logos. So it doesn't stand out. If it doesn't stand out and it's too much like your competition, it's it's time for a rebrand. Um, number seven, and again, this goes back to the evolution. When you're no longer um, happy with what you see, if you've had evolution in your services, again, I'll use myself as the example. Uh, th- those of you guys may not know, when I very first started, I had just come out of um, sales for a corporate training company, and I sold training for professional speakers and trainers. That's what I did in uh, 2008. And it very quickly evolved when those same speakers and trainers asked me if I could help them increase their presence on LinkedIn. I did more and more LinkedIn, less and less promotion and found out, wow, I really like this a lot better. This has some, this, uh, this has some traction to it. And that's when we had to go back and really take a look. We, I went back and took a look and changed the company name, our branding, the whole thing because of the evolution. Number eight, if there's a merger or acquisition, if I were to go out and buy another company, I might change our overall company name so that Social U is a part of that, but not the main part of that. It also works the other way if you are being absorbed or if you are um, going through a D, what would it be, a D merger or D acquisition, time for a rebrand. Um, Number nine, if you're having geographical growth, any growth, but geographical growth, growth, if you are going international, it might be time to rebrand because a lot of times what you call your company, it may not mean the same thing internationally as it means at home. So you want to take a look at that, or you may want to actually add the terminology international to your company so people know you do business worldwide. Number 10, if you have a change of key leadership, if there's a new CEO in town, you may very well want to do a rebrand, um, especially if you are the new CEO and you don't feel like the branding currently matches the company's vision or target niche, then rebrand. And last one, number 11, is to disassociate from negative experience. If the company has a terrible reputation, it happens if they have been involved in some sort of social issue and you have to, you might have to go dark for a little while and then come back under a different company name. Let me give you an example of this. There is a baker on TikTok who went to war, went to war with all of TikTok to her detriment. So for her business to recover, because she took a beating, she's going to need to stay out of the public eye for a little while, rename her company and relaunch her brand. Because if people realize it's the same person, she's, she'll be done again. Um, which leads me back to one of our previous discussions on um, For the Love of Pete. Uh, don't double down. If you're wrong, admit you're wrong and move forward. This is going to cost her her business. Thank you. Thank you. We do what we can about the sign. I thought that was funny. Um, that is it for us today. It, Overall, the big takeaway here, if if you think it's time for a rebrand, chances are it probably is, or you wouldn't already be considering that option. So if that's something you need, if that's something you need assistance with, we can totally help. We we love doing that kind of thing. We can help generate your new mission statement, your personas, and of course your logo and your branding, your brand guide. Happy to do it. If you have questions and you just want additional information, please let us know. We will not be back next week. We'll be closed next week, so there won't be a live. Also, what, it'll be the 5th. I think a lot of people will be out anyway. We'll be back the week after that with additional information, and we'll get that schedule posted by Friday. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I am Karen Taradis, and I'm here to help. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for the Social University Podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media at Stay Social U. That's the letter U. And we will talk to you next week. Remember, you've got this.